Have you ever stood at the edge of a moment, the kind where you can almost feel the pulse of something extraordinary about to unfold? It's as if you're standing on the threshold of a new chapter, destined and designed just for you. Imagine this. You're going through your daily routine when suddenly you sense a shift. It's subtle, a whisper so faint. It could have been carried by the wind, yet it resonates deeply within you. Echoing in the chambers of your soul, telling you, you are about to leave. Not leave a place, but leave what you've known for what you're meant to discover. Have you felt that before? That stirring that signals a new beginning and whispers that you too are chosen for something greater than you've ever imagined. It's not just a figment of imagination. It's a call, a divine invitation. What would you do if you knew that God was preparing you to step out into the unknown, to leave behind the familiar and embrace a path that has been tailor-made for you? Would you listen to that whisper? Would you have the courage to respond? This is not just a thought experiment. It's the reality for many who have dared to listen to those divine whispers. Today, we're diving deep into these moments. We'll explore how to recognize when God is speaking to you, understand the signs of being chosen, and muster the courage to act on those whispers. This is your moment. Are you ready to listen and step into the destiny waiting for you? Let's talk about what we mean by God's whispers. These are those quiet, often missed moments when God speaks directly to our hearts. They're not the booming voice from the sky we often see portrayed in movies. Rather, they are subtle, gentle nudges that guide us toward his will for our lives. Think about a time when a seemingly random thought entered your mind, urging you to call a friend, or perhaps a sudden urge to attend an event where you ended up meeting someone significant. These aren't mere coincidences, they are God's way of speaking to us in whispers. Sometimes these whispers can be profound, like a clear sense of direction during a time of uncertainty, or a deep peace in the midst of chaos. Recognizing these whispers can transform how we live and make decisions. It's about tuning in to a frequency that's often drowned out by the hustle and bustle of daily life. Today, we're going to learn how to listen more attentively to these quiet yet powerful messages so we can align more closely with God's divine plan. Let me share a personal story that happened a few years ago, which I believe was a whisper from God guiding me at a crucial moment in my life. It was during a period when I felt stuck, unsure about the direction I should take both professionally and personally. One evening, I was at a local coffee shop, just pondering over my choices, when an elderly gentleman took the seat next to mine. He noticed my troubled expression and started a conversation. Now, I hadn't planned on talking to anyone, but there was something compelling about his presence. He shared his own story of a time when he had to make a difficult decision and how a simple, unexpected encounter helped him see the clear path forward. As he spoke, I realized the parallel in our situations was too significant to ignore. It was as if God was speaking directly to me through this man's words. After our talk, I felt a profound sense of peace and clarity about what I needed to do next. It wasn't loud or dramatic, just a quiet affirmation that I was on the right path. This encounter was a gentle nudge, a whisper from God, guiding me through a stranger. Since then, I've learned to be more attentive to these subtle signs in my life, knowing they often carry the most profound guidance. Now, I've shared my story with you, but I'm sure many of you have experienced similar moments. Moments when a small, seemingly insignificant interaction or thought led you to a decision 
or a realization that felt divinely guided. Think about it for a moment. Can you recall a time when you felt that quiet nudge, that whisper, urging you to take action or offering comfort when you needed it most? Maybe it was a decision about a job, a move to a new city, or even reaching out to someone in need at just the right moment. I'd love to hear your stories. When did you last experience a whisper from God? What was it about? And how did it affect your decision-making or your path in life? There's something powerful about sharing our experiences. It not only affirms our own journey, but can also inspire and uplift others who hear it. Please take a moment to share your stories in the comments below. It doesn't matter if it's a small, quiet whisper or something that felt like a shout. Every experience is valuable and can be a beacon of light for someone else in our community. And your insights and reflections are a big part of why we gather here. Let's build a community of support and encouragement where we can all learn from each other's spiritual journeys. I'm looking forward to reading each of your stories and discussing them further. Remember, you're not just sharing a comment. You're sharing a part of your spiritual journey that could touch someone's life profoundly. Let's delve into what it truly means to be chosen by God. Being chosen is a concept that stretches across many stories and teachings in the Bible, and it has a profound relevance to us today. To be chosen by God doesn't necessarily mean being set apart for global impact, though it might. More often, it involves being selected for tasks and roles within our own communities, families, and workplaces. It's about being positioned where our unique abilities can best serve others and fulfill God's purposes. Traits of the chosen often include a deep sense of compassion, a call to act justly, and an unyielding urge to spread kindness and understanding. Responsibilities might involve leadership, though not always in obvious ways. Sometimes it's about being a leader in forgiveness, patience, or faith. It's about living a life that reflects God's love and teachings, a beacon for others, no matter the setting. Each of us has the potential to be chosen for different missions. It's about recognizing those whispers from God, those calls to action in our lives, and responding with a willing heart. Throughout the Bible, we find inspiring stories of ordinary people chosen by God for extraordinary purposes. Let's look at a few remarkable examples that illustrate this. Consider Moses, a man initially hesitant and unsure of his own abilities. Yet, God chose him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. The burning bush, where Moses heard God's voice, wasn't just a call. It was a divine appointment for a monumental task. Moses' story shows us that being chosen often comes with overcoming self-doubt to fulfill a greater purpose. Then there's Esther, a young Jewish woman in the Persian kingdom. Esther was placed in a unique position as queen at a time when her people faced great danger. Her courageous decision to approach the king risking her own life to save her people, demonstrates that being chosen can mean standing up for justice and deliverance, even when the stakes are high. And let's not forget Daniel, taken from his home to serve in Babylon. Despite the pressures of a royal court and the threat against his faith, Daniel remained committed to God. His steadfastness and integrity brought him into high favor, even influencing the governance of a vast empire. Daniel's life teaches us that being chosen by God might require maintaining faithfulness in challenging circumstances. These stories from Moses, Esther, and Daniel are not just ancient history. They're examples for us today. Each was chosen for a purpose, just as you might be in your own life's journey. It's about finding where God has placed you and embracing that role wholeheartedly. Seeing how Moses, Esther and Daniel 
were chosen for pivotal roles might make us wonder, how does this translate to our lives today? Let's bridge these biblical stories with our contemporary world. Imagine a community leader, much like Moses, who feels unqualified but is called to spearhead a local initiative that could transform the neighborhood. Despite doubts, this leader steps up, guided by faith and a sense of duty, much like Moses at the burning bush. Or consider Sarah, a member of our own community who found herself in a situation reminiscent of Esther's. Sarah discovered a plan that would adversely affect many in her town. Despite the risk of backlash, she spoke up, organized community meetings, and worked tirelessly to advocate for change. Her bravery didn't just protect many, it also inspired them. And then there's someone like Daniel, perhaps a corporate whistleblower who stands for integrity when fraudulent activities surface. This person, much like Daniel, chooses to maintain their principles, facing the lion's den of corporate politics, but ultimately fostering a culture of honesty and accountability. These are not just stories. They are real life instances where ordinary people, guided by divine whispers, step into their roles as modern day Moses, Esthers and Daniels. Each of us may be called to do something extraordinary within our ordinary lives. It's about listening for those whispers, recognizing our moments to act and courageously stepping forward. Change is a constant in our lives, isn't it? Whether it's a new job, moving to a new city, or undergoing personal transformations, each change requires us to be prepared, not just physically, but spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. The importance of this preparation cannot be understated. Spiritually, being prepared means being in tune with God's word and prayer. It helps us to align our hearts with his, ensuring that we are moving forward with his blessing and guidance. Mentally, it involves setting our minds on positive outcomes and preparing for the challenges ahead. Emotionally, it's about managing our fears, anxieties, and expectations. This balance is crucial because it not only affects how we navigate the change, but also how we emerge on the other side. Preparing ourselves in these ways makes us resilient and adaptable, ready to embrace whatever comes our way with faith and grace. So as we look forward to the changes God has in store for us, let's ensure we're fully equipped to meet them head on. As we talk about preparing for change, let's discuss some practical steps you can take to enhance your spiritual readiness. These actions are simple yet profoundly impactful. First, consider joining or forming a community prayer group. This isn't just about praying, it's about connecting with others who share your faith, who can support you and whom you can support in turn. There's incredible strength in community prayer. It uplifts the spirit and binds hearts together in shared purpose. Secondly, dedicate time for personal reflection. This could be through daily devotions, journaling, or simply spending quiet time in nature. Reflect on the scriptures, your life's journey, and the directions you feel called to explore. This practice helps you listen more deeply to God's whispers and understand the spiritual prompts that guide you. By engaging in these practices, you will not only prepare yourself spiritually for upcoming changes, but also deepen your relationship with God. Remember, spiritual readiness isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous journey that enriches every aspect of your life. I want to take a moment to speak directly to each of you watching this. Wherever you are in your journey, know that you are not alone. God has a plan for every one of us. And though the path may sometimes seem unclear, his presence is constant. Remember, it's perfectly normal to feel uncertain or anxious about the future. We all do at times, 
But amidst these feelings, I encourage you to find solace in the fact that you are part of a great design. Each step you take is a part of God's intricate plan, tailored just for you. So take heart. Embrace the moments of doubt just as you embrace the moments of clarity. Each experience is shaping you, guiding you closer to where you need to be. You are being prepared for something wonderful, something that only you can accomplish. Trust in the journey and in the one who guides you. You are chosen, loved and supported every step of the way. Together, let's move forward with faith and courage. Let's talk about some specific signs that might indicate you're on the brink of a major life change. Recognizing these signs can help you understand and embrace the changes God is guiding you towards. One clear sign is the appearance of sudden opportunities that align remarkably well with your skills or long-held dreams. Perhaps a job offer comes out of nowhere, or you stumble upon a chance to move to a place you've always wanted to live. These aren't just lucky breaks. They are nudges from God, pointing you in a new direction. Another sign is experiencing an unexplainable peace in making a decision, especially one that seemed difficult or daunting before. This peace often comes after prayer or deep reflection, serving as a confirmation that you're making the right choice, even if it feels risky or unconventional. These signs, among others, are ways God communicates his plans for us, they encourage us to step out in faith and trust the path he's laying out. So if you notice these signals in your life, take a moment to consider them carefully. They might just be the divine guidance you've been seeking to help you move boldly into your next chapter. Let me share with you the story of Mark, a good friend of mine, whose experience beautifully illustrates how recognizing God's signs can change a life. Mark was a high school teacher, deeply passionate about his job, yet he always felt a pull towards something more. One day, out of the blue, he received a call from a non-profit organization offering him a position to work abroad, teaching in underserved communities. This opportunity seemed like a dream, but it was also incredibly daunting. Mark struggled with the decision. He prayed for guidance, hoping for a sign to help him decide. The sign came in the form of peace. Despite the fears and the huge changes it would entail, Mark felt a profound peace whenever he thought about accepting the offer. He took the leap, accepted the position, and it transformed his life. Not only did he impact many lives in his new role, but he also grew in ways he had never imagined. Mark's story is a testament to how paying attention to God's whispers and signs can lead us to fulfill our deeper purposes. Now that we've explored how signs can manifest and guide us, I'm eager to hear from you. Each of us might have a unique story or moment where a sign played a crucial role in our decisions. Think about a time when you encountered a sign that pushed you towards a decision or helped you through a tough situation. Maybe it was something as simple as a sudden opportunity like Mark's, or perhaps a feeling of peace at just the right moment. Please share your experiences in the comments below. Tell us about the sign you received, how you recognized it as such, and what impact it had on your life. Was it a nudge towards something new, or perhaps reassurance during a difficult time? Your stories are incredibly valuable and can be very inspiring to others who are perhaps seeking similar affirmations in their lives. Let's create a community of sharing and support right here. I can't wait to read about your experiences and discuss them further. As we move forward, embracing the changes that life throws our way, I want to encourage each of you to face these transformations with courage and hope. Change while often daunting, is also a beautiful opportunity for growth 
and new experiences. I understand that stepping into the unknown can be intimidating. It's natural to feel a mix of excitement and anxiety. But remember, every great journey begins with a single step, taken with faith. You are not alone in this. You are surrounded by a community that supports you. And more importantly, you are guided by God's hand. Take this moment to affirm your readiness to embrace whatever comes next. Stand firm in your faith and trust that you have the strength to overcome any challenges that come your way. Your courage does not go unnoticed and it will lead to new horizons that are as rewarding as they are enlightening. Keep your heart open to the changes ahead. You are equipped, you are prepared, and you are chosen. Walk into your future with confidence, knowing that great things are waiting on the other side of every decision made in faith. As we seek to embrace the path God has laid out for us, it's powerful to anchor our trust in His promises. The Bible is filled with verses that reassure us of God's faithful guidance and unwavering support. One of the most comforting verses is Proverbs 3, 5, 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. This scripture reminds us to rely not on our judgment, but on God's omniscient care. Similarly, Jeremiah 29, 11 offers profound reassurance, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. These words are a beautiful reminder that God's intentions are always to benefit us, to provide hope and a prosperous future. And let's not forget Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Every challenge, every change serves a divine purpose, molding us closer to the ultimate plan he has for each of us. As we draw to a close today, I want to take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon together. We've explored the gentle whispers of God, recognized the signs of being chosen, and discussed how to prepare ourselves for the transformative changes that lie ahead. Remember, being chosen by God is both an honor and a responsibility. It's about more than just following a path. It's about leading by example, about being a light in the darkness and a source of hope and strength to those around us. Whether it's through quiet whispers or loud, clear messages, God is always communicating with us, guiding us towards our true purpose. You are equipped with all you need to face the changes coming your way. With each step you take, you are not alone. God is with you, guiding, supporting, and loving you through every challenge and victory. Embrace the confidence that comes from this divine companionship and step forward with courage and joy. Now, I encourage you not just to listen to these words, but to act on them. Join a community group, start a prayer circle, engage in daily reflection. Whatever form it takes, make your spiritual growth a priority. Share your journey with those around you. Offer your experiences as encouragement and listen to the stories of others. Start today by setting aside time for meditation on the scriptures we've shared. Reflect on how they speak to your current situation and how they might guide your decisions. Make a commitment to respond to God's whispers, whether they're calling you to a new adventure or encouraging you to persevere through current challenges. As we part ways today, don't leave what you've learned behind. Carry it with you as a beacon of light. Remember, every small step you take in faith is part of a larger divine tapestry that is beautiful and uniquely yours. 
Let's not be idle in our faith. Let's be active, responsive, and vibrant in our spiritual journeys. Share your thoughts and actions in the comments below. I look forward to hearing about the signs you've noticed and the steps you're taking in response. Subscribe to stay connected and receive encouragement and updates on your journey. Until next time, keep faith, keep trusting, and keep moving forward. God bless you all.